And Richard Southern joins us from the 680 News Business Center. Now, changes could be coming as Tim Hortons reports sliding sales. Tell me you're going to talk to me about Roll Up the Rim. Well, we were just talking off the air, and you said, where is it? And I was wondering the same thing today, because usually we have it, right, this time of year. Absolutely. You know that it's right around Valentine's Day. Absolutely. And we haven't heard a peep out of Tim Horton. So I reached out to the company today, Christine, and I said, hey, what's going on with the Roll Up the Rim to Win contest? Is it gone? Is it coming back? Are we going to see those legendary cups again? Tim Hortons got back to me. They said, quote, the contest will be returning, will be in touch in the coming weeks. So I wouldn't say anything more than that. But experts like uh, Robert Carter in the food services industry that we talked to today think the contest will be coming back with a big twist. It's going to go online. Take a listen. I would expect that this is going to evolve similar to what we saw at McDonald's with the, the Monopoly program to a digital landscape and a digital world. Meaning that uh, that you won't actually see the prize once you roll up your rim. You have to log on is kind of the idea, right? Yeah, that's what I'm guessing. It's going to be something that's going to drive consumers to the online world. We also, we also found out today that Tim Horton's sales continue to drop in the last quarter of uh, 2019 and the company as a result Christina said we're going to do get do a back to basics program where we're going to refocus on the quality of the coffee the food and customer service I'm sure that'll be uh, news to or happy news to a lot of Tim Hortons customers ears I'm sure. I, I'd just be happy for my contest to come back <laughs> <laughs> Rolling it, and then you it says uh, please play again yeah, yeah you too. know usually it's like you buy 30 just to get that one win <laughs> uh, the loony continues to slide, and much of the blame is being placed on the coronavirus. Yeah, so the coronavirus, everyone's worried about how it's going to slow global growth, and that has meant that oil and copper prices have been down, and those commodity prices are very much tied to the Canadian dollar. So the loony has fallen to a four-month low. It's just above 75 cents U.S. It takes a dollar and 33 cents Canadian to buy one U.S. dollar before all the service charges are in place. You know, we got March break coming up in, what, about four weeks or so. People going to the States are looking to buy U.S. dollars. Um, I asked uh, Scotiabank and the currency experts there today what those travelers should do, and they said, you know what, we don't think the currency is going to move very much between now and March break, so, you know, don't worry about holding off or buying now. Uh, experts do think the Canadian dollar will appreciate, but not until March is over and done with, Christina. So well after March break, and well we would have actually break. benefited families. Four members of the Chinese military have been charged in connection with one of the largest data breaches ever. This is a big story. I'm sure you remember the Equifax state mm -hmm. of breach. Mm -hmm. Hundreds of millions of people in Canada and the United States affected. U.S. government today said it believes the Ch Chinese military was behind the hack. Uh, it says that uh, hundreds of millions of people had their, um, their names, their birth dates, their social security numbers in the states taken. And it says now, the U.S. government says it believes China wanted this information to better its artificial intelligence tools. That's kind of scary there. Uh, the indictment also alleges the hackers stole trade secrets and intellectual property from Equifax. And of course, all this comes, Christina, as the, the uh, trade dispute in many ways continues between the United States and China, and you got to wonder how this could factor into any future trade negotiations. A lot of news coming out of China these days. Finally, Richard, will we be seeing any change at the gas pumps tonight? No change tonight. The average price will uh, hang around about $1.10 a litre. Stay tuned, Christina. I'm back just a little bit after 6.30. We're looking at how cannabis lounges could be coming to Toronto. Plus, a cat's, uh, cat has an Instagram page, believe it or not. This is the most 2020 thing ever. It's going viral. We're going to show it to you. Awesome. Thanks so much, Richard. See you later in the show. Thanks.